This is the T-shirt, which again, it's one of those things that, you know, it places the defendant at the scene, but there's other explanations. And I thought the defense attorney, he kept a lot of his cross-examination short. In this particular case, I thought he could have made more hay out of the fact that she made quite a few of them and gave one, gave a few to dad, said he was going to use some as rags, and that perhaps he could have made more out of the fact that they pretty much could have ended up anywhere. That's true. I mean, there's no there's no question about it. Um, there, again, if someone's in a relationship, oftentimes T-shirts get shared. So the fact that uh, this ends up near near the scene could have been uh, with with Molly and 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 not with him. So um, again, not not necessarily by itself is going to prove guilt, but but on on the other hand, it does more or less bring uh, James Addy into the scene. But, you know, how heartbreaking to see this 20-year-old, uh, now 20-year-old daughter testify in a case where her father's on trial for, for murder and uh, have to give her such kudos for her composure there. I mean, she's really, you know, she's not breaking down. She's just answering the questions. And, um, you know, just as a... It, just as a human being, it's just it, it just it just strikes me as how what a difficult position she is and how well she's handling herself. Yeah, her whole life blew up and she didn't break down. But you know who broke down, James? James Addy broke down. He was as soon as she walked out into the courtroom, he started crying, had to wipe his eyes, pull his mask down, clean his face. How do you think the jury saw that? Is that a man who's guilty, realizing ah, I've this you know just what I've done to my family, or maybe they look at it differently? You know, it can cut both ways, right? I mean, the emotion overwhelms him at having seen his daughter, see, watching his daughter being put in this position to basically be on the stand, another uh, nail in uh, his coffin, perhaps, just in terms of him being convicted of, of murder. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't think ultimately a jury is going to say, oh, he cried when he saw his daughter. That must mean he's not guilty because the, the, the reverse can be true. But uh, but definitely touching and, and um, you know, as much as you could feel for a man who most likely committed a murder here, um, it, it was something that uh, you, you just felt the gravity of the moment, the father seeing his daughter testifying against him in a trial where he's being held for murder.